This is FNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, two hours left to go on the trading day. We have a pretty calm market out there for options expiring today, and you also have futures expiring today. SP right now. Flat, we'll call it, up about half a point, trading at 2960. We've got the NASDAQ negative by 10 points, trading at 8041. The Dow positive by 56 points, trading 26,810. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield. The 10 year negative 18 ticks at 127.15. The 30 year negative a full point and four ticks at 154.19. Gold, right at about 1400 1399.80, had been as high as 1415 at one point. We have the dollar index, negative 343 ticks, and Bitcoin, how about it, 9908 as it goes for that 10,000 price point. We'll start things off, let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off at the NASDAQ 100, making highs this morning at about 11 a.m. of 7802. We're about 30 points off of that level, trading 77.69. S&Ps make a high around the similar time today at 2969. We're about 10 points, 9 points off that level, 2960. Dow 30, the Dow 30, Dow Jones actually climbing over the October 3rd high today, intraday. The futures climbed to a high of 26,919. We're about 100 points off that level, 26818. Crude oil, 57.52, as crude has had quite a couple days to the upside, made a high this morning of 57.96. And there's that gold contract. You saw the spike early, well, we'll call it late last night, early this morning. We make it up to about 14.15. Gold backs off all the way down to 13.86 at about 4 a.m., and we're back at 13.99. In terms of what else you have happening in there across the market, so there's your headlines. As stocks are mixed, pretty calm day out there. Record highs, though, when we saw that Dow Jones climb to that October 3rd closing record. We'll see where we end up, though. We're about 100 points off of that level. Another interesting article out there going on, Fed Governor Kashkari. So that is, he is the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. He is not a voting member, not one of the 10 members. He coming out and writing an essay on the Minneapolis Fed's website. He would have cut by half a point. And you also had Bullard, who was the only dissenting um, Minneapolis. Let's see, where is Bullard? We'll find him. Uh, he was the only dissenting voter. He's out there. This is just the quiet period had, has ended. Those Fed governors are out there preaching that lower rates are coming at us, even as we have the 10 year negative 18 ticks today. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White with the power trading right now. Tom O'Brien live at 3 every Friday. <laughs>